Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Munir Islam on behalf of Group 8. First and foremost, I would like to get it you to our lecturer Dr. Noor Hidayah Bint Jagaria for her proper guidelines and great support throughout this project. My teammates are MD Abu Saleh Naim and Tasnia Hok Nidi. As we proposed in our project proposal, to make an online shopping management system by using C++ programming language. And finally, we have done it successfully. In this video, we will explain about our project progress and source code demo. So let's get onto the screen. To complete our online shopping management system, firstly, we drew a keys diagram for admin and customer. Here we can see that some special modules can access only by admin and the others module can access by customer. And finally after that we have draw a human diagram which consists of total 8 classes such as address, register, administrator, product list, product, shopping cart, customer and payment class. Throughout this program we are using association, aggregation, we are using composition, inheritance, also polymorphism and also we are using here exception handling. And now I will explain my part which are register class, administrator class and customer class. So first register class. So in this class we can see that they have a private variables and also public member functions but firstly the register class also aggregated the address class and the public member function here we have a constructor we have accessor and mutator so basically the register class will allow us to register for customer or administration by filling his or her basic information and also we impl implemented uh, functions for registration and login purposes uh, these functions are implemented in the outside of the class so this is our constructor and this void register enter this will ask the user or administrator either he or she is login or registration so if he chose the registration the registration function will activate and ask the user to fill the details and also provide an user id and password and this function also stored the all basic information in our system and finally after successful registration the customer or administration can log in by providing his or her username and password and also we will verify here if a provide his or her valid user id and password the system will show a congratulations login successful and also in this register class we are using an exception handling try and catch function now the administrator class here we can see that public register and public product list that means the register class and product list class is inherited by administrator class because administrator use the protected or member functions from register and also product list classes and also only have one private attributes and also public member functions they have uh, accessor and also mutator and also we are using uh, polymorphism by using virtual functions so administrator can registration on login but the main registration and login function will do by register class after that administrator can see the product list current product from the stock and only administrator can add 
products by using this function and also administrator have rights to remove any products from the stock now we have a customer class so this is the most important class in our program here we can also see that public register and public shopping cart that means the register class and shopping cart class also inherited by customer so also customer registration and login will perform from register class and also here we can see that they have a payment and object payment so here we can see that a composition method so and also we have a public member function a constructor and accessor mutators and in this customer after login or registration so customer can see the products from the from our shop and finally he or she can add products in, in my shopping cart by using this function selected product and also he can remove some products from his or her shopping cart after confirmation that the payment module will automatically appear so if he want to place the order he or she have to payment first finally he can get a receipt which is customer invoice where include current time date and also the personal details product details and the total item and cost so this is the functions for customer classes. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Amdiya Abhusale Rahim. Now I am going to describe about my part from our group project. At first I made a class whose name is address. In private attributes I put a string block, a string house name, a string city and a string gym. In pu public I made a constructor for it. Here I use a mutator, set function, set address, so so that I can take input from the user for blocks, house name, city, and the gym. Here I make an accessors, the get function for the block, house name, city, gym. This address actually aggregates by the class register. Here, here is the aggregation. Next, I completed the class product. In private, I put a string product ID, a string product name, and the double the price. In public, I made a constructor for it. Then I created the mutator for ID, for name, and the price, as well as the Accessor. I use virtual the polymorphism so that it work can work properly. This is because we use use the get ID several times. This product actually this product is a composition of product list. In then I completed class product list. Here I use vector instead of array this is because vector is much easier than array i can add or i can remove any product easily that is why i use vector then here we made the products and display product list the product list and we use add product and remove product and every this product list actually we inherited by the class administrator class administrator so that the administrator has the power he can remove he can add product and we put our sample product in main function this is because vector has a problem we cannot put the product list in class this my problem Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Tasnia Hawk Nithi from Programming Technique 2, Section 7. So, this is the main source code. So, I did the payment and the shopping cart part. 
So let's have a look at the shopping cart part. So basically, shopping cart is uh, like like uh, connected with the customer part. so that's why it is the inheritance of shop customer class so uh, you we use this protected part uh, which works as a hidden or the private access modifier uh, modifier so inside the public function uh, we used uh, this uh, this output uh, i mean the customer will see it how many products you want to purchase i mean they have to put the amount of uh, products they uh, want to take and also with their id so uh, with the help of set values all the values will, will be uh, will be set inside the code and it will show as product id so with the help of this shopping cart uh, the customer will have a look at their size their id and the name and the total amount of products they have chosen and also with their total number of prices so it's for the easier mind. It's for uh, it's for the whole customer to get very used to and very. Uh, it helps. It helps them very nicely. So uh, this is another class. The name of the class is payment class. It is like a composition class. So basically, what is a composition? Uh, a composition class. It's a. It's basically a physical relationship where the object are physically connected with another object. So payment uh, payment class is connected as a that is customer, uh, customer product uh, and uh, customer product and the shopping cart. The payment class cannot be uh, created. So inside this uh, payment, uh, we used this uh, uh, members member functions. That is the pay uh, pay net amount card number digit uh, pin number payment i bank user id i banking password. So here I used this pointer. Uh, basically, this pointer is the reflection of one object. Uh, it copies one object. So if I look at the output, uh, we will see two types of choosing option. That is, uh, it, it depends on the customer whether they want to uh, like pay it through credit or debit card or through online banking system. So if they choose this one, so this will come out. That is, uh, they have to enter their card number, their PIN number. And as a result, uh, the total net amount and also, and uh, if they choose this two, on that is online banking payment, they, uh, this case also, they have to uh, give their ID, their password. And uh, we, uh, when a successful payment will be done, this uh, output will be shown that is uh, this much amount has been deducted from your account. So uh, here they will be provided as a receipt. Thank you for watching this video. Through a shopping management system, a customer can uh, can be very much helpful, can get very much help uh, through by not just by buying or selling or developing the whole uh, system. And within uh, just the wastage of within, uh, it, it reduces the waste of time and also the delivery charge and everything uh, comes down. So basically, uh, knowledge management shopping system uh, will be very much helpful if we can. Um, go through with the project uh, in a successful way.